And now a uh, new experience in architecture at Sydney's huge and uh, controversial Darling Harbour project is an experiment to make works of art as an important part of a new building as the walls and ceilings. Charles Stewart's been to have a look. This is part of the Darling Harbour project, a massive urban renewal that will change a disused railway and goods yard on the edge of Sydney into a complex including gardens, restaurants and markets. This building, the Harbourside Festival Marketplace, will be the focal point of most activity around the harbour when it opens, but not just because of what it will provide. In a massive studio close by, about 30 artists have been working on artworks to decorate the new building. The project developers are spending around $2 million putting together an art collection that will not just decorate the building, they will be a part of it. The artists are working on things like painted murals, giant mobile sculptures, hand-painted silk banners, colourful ceramic tiles, large terracotta pots and bright terrazzo floors. What really is coming through to me very loud and clear is the team and you get lots of cross disciplines happening and so you get a, a team style. I mean it's not like going to a gallery and commissioning seven different works which don't relate necessarily to the building. What we're really gearing towards is to have a sort of synergy about the work so that it all, although it's independent in its own way, has a unity about its styles. The floor of the building will be very special. Artist Suzanne Holman has come up with a new way of making terrazzo floors, which is far cheaper than the traditional methods. It means that she'll be able to incorporate intricate designs like those of artist Bruce Gould into the floor. For those taking part, the excitement is in the knowledge that they are breaking new ground in the decorative arts field. They're having a major input into the way the building will look. David Humphrey says it's almost like the effect artisans had on architecture during the Gothic period. What's really interesting about something using the Gothic example is that lots of craftsmen and artists were brought together and they created a whole style and a whole movement which totally changed Western architecture. I mean, I'm not saying that we're doing that, but we're going towards that direction. The project has received nothing but praise so far. Former Arts Minister Barry Cohen described it as a model for the future. Another critic says the product of this artistic outpouring is an unqualified triumph, the most complex and vigorous public arts project yet attempted in Australia. It's difficult to argue. Charles Stewart reporting. Like that, did you? Well, something, something good's going to come out of the Darling Harvest game, he said.